addiction, painkiller, abuse runs rampant in this country. With the amount of money big pharmaceuticals spend courting the FDA, there's no end in sight. Let's turn to Alex in the command center. America is the world leader in prescription pill abuse. 80% of the world's pain pills are consumed in the U.S., which has only 5% of the world's population. Prescription painkillers are involved in about 46 deaths per day in America. Prescriptions have climbed 300% in the past decade, and drugs like Vicodin are the most commonly prescribed medication in the U.S. Meanwhile, defying its medical advisory board, the FDA recently approved a new extremely powerful opioid painkiller, a drug called Zohydro. Attorneys general from 28 states asked the FDA to reconsider, and more than a dozen Republican and Democratic members of Congress signed a bill banning Zohydro. Big Pharma is the biggest drug dealer in the world, isn't it, Governor? I, I thank God I'm going off the grid, and I'll get away from it and flush my brains out again. When you watch TV, all day long is nothing but drugs and pills, from sunup to sundown. And they use the standard line, tell your doctor. I like to steal it from Bill Maher. Bill Maher said, well, if you're telling your doctor, your doctor's not your doctor, your doctor's your dealer. We're a total pharmaceutical drug culture in this country now, yet they wage war on the, the drugs you have fun with. The Beatles admitted they took LSD when they wrote Sgt. Pepper. Anna Nicole Smith, I believe, took five or six medical prescribed drugs and she was so out of it, she couldn't even dial 911 to save her own life. Yet Anna Nicole's drugs were all legal. What the Beatles did was illegal. What am I missing? I don't know, but there's an interesting point to this, that the company that makes this new drug, Zohydro, also manufactures a drug used to treat patients addicted to opioids and alcohol. They have their bases covered, don't they?